Blizzard Nemo is here and while fashionistas everywhere are ducking for cover, I'm taking you backstage to see the accessories queen herself, Rebecca Minkoff, ahead of her fall 2013 collection here at New York Fashion Week. Rebecca, your pre-fall collection was very edgy, a lot of leather, suede, a looser fit, yet it was still feminine. Can we expect to see something similar today? You can. I, I want to take you back to the beginning of your career, working as a mechanic, and you first kind of had your big break. Tell me about that. Well, in the first two seasons, we got a really raw look at your relationship and your lives together. What do you want the audience to see in season three? Well, this is the Genesis, the concept car by Hyundai. And as you can tell, it's heavy on the concept. We probably won't see it on the road, but we've got some pretty cool features to show you. Okay, now we're here with Wendy Williams, our host for this evening. Now you're one of the busiest women in the industry, a huge TV personality, an author, and now you're going to star in Chicago. How do you manage it all? Um, I have a really good staff at the talk show and a really good family at home and I'm in pretty good shape for an old broad of 48. You look hot. Thank you. And oh, how you feel? Don't let your eyes deceive you. This isn't Spain. We're actually here in Virginia for the Great Bull Run. Now behind me is 24 bulls. Now they each weigh 1,000 pounds. They can travel up to 40 miles per hour and you better be fast because competitors are running down this track and it's a quarter mile long. So are you ready to grab the bull by the horns? I'm, I'm very scared that everyone in line's carrying beers. You do realize you're about to run with the bulls, no? Empty. Don't worry, I already killed it. Batter up because baseball season has begun. Now we're about to meet the Mets captain, David Wright. Now currently he's on top of that bus signing autographs for fans, but we're going to chat with the hunky star and he's going to teach me how to use this. What do you think is going to be the biggest challenge for Breezy Point as a community to kind of rebuild? I think it's uh, trying to get a, a, a enough uh, consistency, enough people who will kind of can reach an agreement as to how we, how we can rebuild, first of all. We're standing here in front of the church where moments ago the funeral for James Gondolfini just took place. Now we got a chance to talk to people that worked with him, some fans and some friends. So here's what we found out about the man you may know as Tony Soprano. Today is obviously a very hot day but there's still a ton of people here, a lot of media. Why do you think the world is gravitated toward him as an actor and a person? Have you ever thought you've gone too far? Never. Never? Comedy is about edginess and making people think and that's exactly what the Lenny Bruce's and the George Collins and the Richard Pryor's and uh, the, the Louis C.K.'s do and that's thank God I'm in that group now. Make no apologies, I don't think you have to either. Cindy Kinky Booth, a big night for you, everyone loves it, how are you feeling? I'm really thrilled, I think it's so much fun and you know I'm coming out seeing everybody and I think it's exciting. I, who knew we'd be in the running like this? Oh my God. I have to get a line from you, one of my favorites from Scar. I killed Mufasa. I killed Mufasa. Woo! That was creepy, I just got goosebumps. And you're hosting tonight, so what can you tell us about this evening? <laughs> what advice would you give to people out there who kind of want to make it in the industry? It's a tough one. That's a tough question. Um, you know what, everybody has their own path. I, I mean, everyone here tonight who is a Broadway star, we all got here in different ways. You know, you can't just say, this is how you do it. Standing to the left of me is a security guard, and the reason being is I'm standing next to the new Acura NSX, this amazing concept car. If you like the sports car, the power, the drama, then this is the car for you, and it's going into production within the next two years. Sir, I have to ask, do you smoke marijuana? No, no, I used to though. And now we're in Washington Square Park. It kind of seems like a fun hangout. I've seen some people walking around with doobies. Do you think it's easy to get around the streets of New York City? I believe so. People approach me. Now, finally, I actually brought a bat along with me because I am Australian and I'm only used to holding a cricket bat. So I want you to be able to teach me how to use this. Is there a certain way to hold it, swing it? So, Hurricane Sandy hit the east coast of the United States on October 29th. Weeks later, we're standing here at Staten Island, one of the worst hit areas, to visit the Brown Cross and all the volunteers dedicated to rebuilding their community. This is your first red carpet. You're the star of Annie. How are you liking it? <laughs> <laughs> you having a good time? 